How it's going, everyone? Ever hey, give me another sad episode with more Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on the Nintendo Switch. Welcome to it. So, last time, because uh, we have, um, last I uh, got all to a uh, Camille village to go ahead and stop the, um, the Bushi and then the Narwhal from creating rampage of the destructions to the, uh, to the entire world. But, um, we put a stop to that. And that's how I'm going to say, now we're back here in the Agado outpost where we left the call. And, um, somehow we were supposed to go ahead and study up to, to go ahead and talk to, uh, the Dame Fiorin. And just so that she can, uh, give us some more, some more clues of what we need to be doing next. So, uh, let's go ahead and have a talk. Uh, okay, not you, Admiral. Sorry, I, I don't mind talking to you. Okay, uh, Everard, uh, I was, I wonder if I may, uh, talk to you about the something. Okay, well, this, uh, glitch, <laughs> well, I was, uh, way too close on Dame Face. I know we only uh, just uh, went out a uh, hunting together, but I'm rather interested in uh, going out again. I actually prepared a new quest that uh, Chichea has uh, added to her list. Uh, please uh, have a look uh, when you are able to. Uh, you can uh, take your allies uh, out on a quest uh, with you as uh, followers, allowing each uh, of you to do, to the hone of other skills. I'm sure there are many uh, here who would be interested in tagging along with the other uh, fears on a hunt or two. Hmm. If you receive a set of requests, uh, please do a step. Uh, they have fostered with a bond that will surely aid or, or cause it in the end. <laughs> oh, one other thing. The Kingdom I had issued a request for monster research with support surveys. As followers can join these as well. Anyway, I don't uh, mean to uh, overcomplicate things, but the point is uh, to go out and uh, hunt some monster together. According to the three lawyers uh, in our investigation uh, into the Kingdom monster come first. The rest are uh, when you have time. <laughs> I updated the chiche with a new list of quests that you need to prioritize. Please take a look and I'll see you again soon. Alright, so we got here is another hunting quest which it says an, an audience with the queen. Okay, so we need to be on master rank 2 star for for the following quest. Okay, so it's a scene like our dame Lushika has something new to say. Uh, let's have a talk with her. Humble greetings, Everard. If you are able to spare some time, I was wondering if perhaps you could assist me. In addition to our normal duties, that we knights out of the order are encouraged to further our training by taking on hunting quests. There is a particular quest that is well suited to my training, but it's required that someone accompany me. My colleagues have all refused. Hmm? Well, why have you refused? This is I. This I don't do not know. Perhaps they are intimidated by my hunt, my hunting prowess. Nevertheless, forgive me for having just uh, met and asking a personal favor, but perhaps uh, you were to be interested in joining me? Okay, so she wanted to fight another uh, Bishatin. Okay, so this is, says a uh, fruit version firearms. Alright, indeed. So let's see what's going on around here. So we can head on back to the center plaza and go in chatting with our friend Chiche. Everard, you must be exhausted after hunting of that blood orange of the Chetan. Yeah. Having completed that uh, urgent quest, uh, you are now able to embark on Mathurin 2 Star Quest. A wonderful achievement, but I'm worried about the influence of being spread by these invading monsters are much greater than we anticipated. At least the various have been progress on locating the free lords. Perhaps if they are defeated, the ecosystem might recover. Oh, and uh, before I forget that, I have here to follow the quest of Fiorin and has uh, spoken to you about you're going to be quite busy. And there is not much to be done, but I have faith that you will fulfill your duty. Well, then shall we uh, look at the Matter Rank the two star quest? I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go over. So we got here. It's um, it's help quest on Matter Rank and then a follower collab quest. Okay, well, this is kind of new. So uh, followers are powerful allies who hunt alongside you during the quest. Follower collaboration quests are solo quests in which a follower requests that you're assisting on particular quests. Completing their requests that deepens your bond with them. Alright, so completing followers' requests will bring you and the other followers closer together. Complete all of the followers' requests and they will offer their aid on support surveys. I see. Now, just to take a look at what we got. So, we had the one at the top that says support survey and the one bottom which is a follower request. So, we're going to start off the on um, the first topic which is say support surveys. And this is on level M with two stars. Okay, so let's see what we're going after. So, 
this here is the um, the same one that we uh, did for Urgent Quest. So this is another this uh, blood orange uh, be be shatten. So, or I don't know if it by shatten. I'm, I'm I need to uh, to um, look his name up more. Um, I'm gonna just uh, say by shatten in, in case that was correct. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it persuasively, but um, it says Operation Hazu. Okay, so just to read summary, so it says, Everard, you receive an order from the uh, kingdom to commence an investigation. It uh, might be a uh, road, so uh, enlist the allies uh, to aid you. I wish that you and your uh, chosen uh, comrades the best of luck. Do not uh, let your guard down. I mean, why short thing? So, let's just uh, go ahead and try out for support surveys, okay? So, support surveys that allow you to select a follower to accompany you on the quest. Uh, you can uh, change the followers that equip a weapon with X. Got it, okay. So, we're just looking at that Fioran. So, Fioran is uh, holding on to... What is the weapon he's holding on to? I, I keep forgetting what it's called, but... Um, somehow, it's... Um, wait a minute. So, she's uh, a proud knight. It's, it's, that's what she is. Okay, so you, it's a, a balanced hunting style. It can flexi flexibly uh, handle anything that quite uh, might throw out. Uh, I see. So I keep forgetting the, the the type and the name of what it's called. So she held he is the other sword and shield. That's what she's holding. And of course because uh, her level is increasing a little higher, I can imagine. And her rapid move is on level three. Nice to see. All right, I mean she can uh, be put in good use. So let's check out with her. So this is a uh, Luchika. So um, hold on. So I did not even uh, read. Fiorin's summary. So it said, Admiral Gallius is second in the command and a proud knight with a strong sense of duty. She's the, the oldest sister of, of another knight uh, of the Order R Rondine. Okay, so talk, take a look at, at the Luchika. So it says, A knight of the Order stationed at the Agado outpost. A studious, a calm, collector, and a fine hunter, though for some reason other Shana hunting was her. Okay, now. Take a look at what she is. So her health is uh, 250. Her stamina is 150. And the weapon type bonus is a uh, less element and it can take damage. Okay, and uh, of course I'm uh, looking at hunting style for movement tendency. Tendency, so she can go do offense. And I, so her, at the middle, so for attack of frequency, it's a uh, very fragrant. And for healing frequency, it's a uh, it never heals. So it says focus it solely on attacking with the proper support that she can dish her out with damage. Is that so? Alright then, so um, let's go ahead and select her and uh, also can we select two? Okay, so yeah, let's go and accept that. So it seems like that we're, we're, we can't do this on the line. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to Azuki. Okay, so Meowdy uh, Hunter, sorry to bother you while you're busy, but I could uh, really use your help again. Everyone has been working their paws to be a bone, so I thought that I'd make a new dango to put some pepper in their step. I did a little research and found a recipe that used, uses sap from pine cones. The only problem is, both our particular pine cones are ones of that blood orange are by Shetan Horta and their Meowtia ter territorial about them. Uh, you think that you can uh, get both a monkey to, to split a while I go grab the goods? Okay, so we have to defeat two of the, the blood orange by shedding. Okay, so this is something that's called a pinecone pelt and panic. All right, so uh, I really think we should go ahead and sit down and eat something for uh, for dangos. Now let's just see what we got. So we got here it's a new specials available for daily specials. I mean, so we got here something that's called a ha the the hape, oh, not hape, but uh, hape peanut. Okay, so we're gonna pay with points for the day. And we're gonna keep going with Dango tickets and see what's good. Okay, so it says moderately increases the quest reward items. Okay, you know what? We really gotta get that. So that's the only way we're gonna experience a lot of reward. And we're gonna get that in the chair, which will go ahead and boost up the, uh, the Dango, but just to increase up more attack and defense slightly in a short period of time. And let's uh, keep scrolling down and see what's good. Okay, and also we can go ahead and moderately increase our HP if we wanted to. Well, actually, let's try. Well, actually, I don't think we should get that. Let's try Spud Luck. Alright, so we're gonna order that Dango. 
And we'll go we'll go skip the the, the cutscene. Okay, we don't we don't mind seeing all of those uh both Fanny's work work their uh, mighty is to go ahead and create a special dango. So uh let's go ahead and actually before we go ahead and depart before we do that, I wanna go check in with the market real quick. Okay, so what we got for lottery. So you know what, we're gonna pay with some tickets. I wish you good fortune. Wow. Alright, so Excellent. we hit the jackpot, so what we get inside? Oh wait, so we're about to get double? Oh, so we got a gold. Okay, so we're getting here brand new stuff available. Alright, so for our lucky ball points, so if we get the 300 point, we get here at the silver egg, which is, which we get but three of each. Okay, so now let's take it all we want. Must say, I'm a bit nervous. And we can go take all the tilt, man. So what, what, what kind of tilt do we got so far? Okay, so you know what? I really think we should go ahead and take the thunderous tail man again. Let's take it all. And of course, uh, we may not have enough for Madeline Madeline Madden Reaper. Okay, so we got the Whistler's Mystery. Okay, Reflecting Pool, Haze. Okay, so you know what? I want to get the one that's called the Lumumbo. So we're going to get the one that's that's for thunder attack, so let's go ahead and increase up. So, do we have to keep going? Okay, hold on. So, 12 should do enough. And let's keep going. Okay, so we can reload speed. No, that's for your, um, your, your crossbow. Okay, so, you know, we're gonna go for counter strike, so we gotta keep learning that. So we get the one for the uh, defender ticket. Oh wait a minute, I only own six, so why I, it had to be one? Oh, that's right, because the defender ticket six can uh, increase up more higher experience okay. for my list of materials. Just about it can uh, go up to 50 points. Interesting. All right, so you know what? We're gonna keep on getting everything we need. So I'm gonna go and get the one that's called Discovery Speed. Doesn't matter. Um, okay, we can confirm and we're, we're all good to go now So uh, we should get the last one for what's of mystery. So let's go get one of that So I only got one for this on the Ostra game, so I, I won't have that go to waste Um, hold on. So how many am I crafting? I don't know what I'm crafting so much. It had to be more about 150 But why did it stop the 10? That's weird. I thought it's gonna keep going. Okay, hold on. That's good. One of Oregon. I mean, how many are we supposed to be crafting? Okay, you know what? That's fine. Well, wow, that's just a whole lot to increase. Okay, so I think we had to keep crafting more. So let's go ahead and get one that's called a stun resistance. So we really need to get that. So it seems like that we got all the material we have. So you know what? Let's go get the defender ticket seven. Okay, now there are just way too many options over here. You know, we can get rid of the uh, the, Di the, the Diablos m Medulla. So, hold on. We're going to just keep one. And we're going to just uh, keep on scrolling to see what's available. Alright, that's it. So, three, three numbers we have to do. Let's confirm. And you know what? We're done. So, there's, there's nothing that we can do because we just have to come back later and check out. While we're out journey. So you know what? Do we have to keep upgrading more armor? Okay, so somehow we just have finished on doing a bit of upgrading to our armor. So do we have anything new to upgrade? Oh, you know what? The, the chainmail vest axe would be a, a good equipment for my armor. So you know what? So it can incre increase up by only one for the thunder resistance. So we should go and get that. So we're gonna pay up six thousand 
D and equip it. Yeah, well, that looked like a good fit, so we'll get a, a, a little bit stronger with our thunder resistance. Okay, so we got the on the bone ass. Uh, I mean, that's nothing we can worry about. Okay, but I really want to get the do the hermitar outfit because I don't have enough parts. All right, we well, you know what. We're just gonna have to come back later. We're just gonna have to come back. I mean, that's a pretty strong armor because we we had to keep on trying our hardest just to find all the right for materials for this. So uh, let's try some. Let's try doing some upgrading for our armor. So we have that equipped already. So we should have it in full upgrade. So you know what? Let's get the one for hard armor spear. So we only got forty three for each. Okay, that would do. So that only costs six thousand. So that's a whole lot of money that we're, we're spending on. All right. So you know what? There's a chainmail vest as it is. So we're gonna keep that on. And let's see. Are we? Can we go ahead and learn some some brand new weapons? I mean, let's check out what's that dual blades and everything. Yeah. Well, seeing like that, we'll just take a look at the area because um somehow that's uh not something that we can do, but just upgrade. For each and every one. Yeah, I mean the, the garlic sword looked like a good weapon choice, but let's still get something new because we use that a lot with the, the lens. So I think we should go ahead and learn something new. We we just learned a lot from it just to go use the lens. So we need to get something strong. So uh, what can we go get? I mean. What, what weapon are we still holding on to? I can't even like actually see what what we fully upgrade. Okay, well I'm still going, still going. Okay, this is it. This is the one I got. So I already got that that one equipment because I do not have the uh, Zenogo parts yet. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do something else. So I think we should go and take a look at. Uh, the the decorations okay so we have to go ramp up weapons and what we gotta do so so we're gonna what actually what are we supposed to do to ramp up your game, eh? um hold on oh it's decoration okay so we have to create rampage decoration is what we gotta do Okay, well that's a lot that we can take on. So you know what, we're gonna go for the defense edge you want because in order to get stronger, I mean, we just uh, gotta like uh, read and just to want uh, to figure out which uh, the which decoration of the uh, of whatsoever these uh, game will fit for you. So it's a great sword slash charred blade only. A, a decoration that gives weapon defense at grinder one. Sharpness and unaffected at one garden. Okay, I don't think we should get that. So, um, this is a, a brutal due to a decoration that gives a weapon with a brutal strike skill. Has a chance to increase damage with a negative affinity attack. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that may seem like a, a good option to choose. So, we should go ahead and select one. Okay, well, two. Actually, no. That, that'll be a waste. We're just gonna have to just... Okay, fine. Um, we'll just say one, we'll keep two, and then we'll confirm. So, we should go and try that. So, let's go and set some decorations first. So, we had the one equipped before, Chin Mill Vest X. So, uh, what else can we get? Okay, so that's the Steve Fast Jewel 1, so we can't go getting that. We got Bolt Do One. I mean, do we have it in our equipment info? Okay, that that don't seem like a good option. But you know what? We'll get a little bit of defense. I mean, that's something we can learn. All right, so we need to increase up a, a little bit lower for our defense. If we're going to get stronger, I mean, we we just want to make it sure we're well prepared for this. Okay, so none of these are unlocked yet, so we're not going over bows. 
So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and unequip whatever I'm holding on to. Okay, so that's that one's already got equipped it already. So we got two for each. And you know what? Let's go ahead and check in with the thunderous tillsman again. Um, wait a minute. So, do I want to go and equip the uh, the tillsman? Do I really want to do that? Um. Okay. Fine. Forget it. Be careful out there. All right. Well, we don't want to go do that. So we're getting a little bit stronger. So we, we can go ahead and depart immediately. So let's go ahead and depart the quest and get ready to take on the the support survey. Okay. Well, it's our first time trying to want to do the uh, the survey support. Well, whatever you call it. Well, the survey support may be backwards. I know, but um, it's just only called support surveys. So that's how you go and follow out more of your characters. This will be so we're just trying out for only once. All right, now let's see what we got here. So we got one of his uh, first aid med, one of his aspiration, and one of his uh, as life powder. So we got all that kind of cool activity. So you know what? We're gonna have to move out on the wild just to go exploring and just to pick up some more stuff around here because there's a lot we can see. To, there's a lot to see going around here, like I, what, like I mentioned before, because um, there's a uh, more that we can see. Uh, during RPG, I mean, we just go seeking out and just uh, exploring the, the wild and just uh, picking up more cool stuff around here because uh, there's like a ton of these uh, different life forms that we were supposed to be collecting around here. I mean, like, don't worry. I mean, I'm still focused on my mind just um, and just uh, playing video games as I steady focus a little bit. But um, I'm still trying to get exercises on that. So, hand page with me, you guys. I'm, I'm still learning. So... Uh, let's see, that's a stink bank. Okay, let's grab a stink bank. And the monster we're going after is called the... The Hezu. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing his name right, because I'm pretty sure it's his... The, the monster name was pronounced... Uh, Hezu. Or is it Hezu or Hezu? How are you supposed to say it? I mean, y'all gotta have to let me know if you guys are still watching. So, I think... Something is down here. So wait a minute, hold on. So I think I need to call in a Matarasu. So I need to go right on her or him. Well, I'm I'm just gonna. Well, uh, as you, in case you didn't know, I mean a Matarasu is a she, not a he. Okay. So it's the, the name of my daughter used to come up uh, earlier since I uh, during the on the first the beginning of since the, the last the previous episode of well that was I said last earlier since I named my dog uh, a Matarasu. That, that was our last earlier, since the last week, I, I used to, to like, call him or her a Matarasu. So, let's go ahead and pick up these damn life points. So, we'll get, we'll boost up more defense if we have to. Okay, so, uh, this is the Ruby Wire Buzz. Ruby Wire Buzz are temporarily grants of the following effects. Uh, increase the amount of punisher damage easier to initiate the wife and riding factor Wire Buzz gauge recovery. Note the gold wire bug cannot be used at, at the at the same time. Gotcha. Okay, so whenever we pick up a ruby wire bug, somehow it can just go ahead and increase up the amount because somehow we get here into uh, the punisher more damage just to go ahead and um and like trigger another wire bug, right? Whatever we whatever we have, we 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 the the get opportunity to the ride on the wire bug, the the, uh, the beast again, and do wire bug wire to take out certain monsters. And that go ahead and increase up a lot more skill and potential. But uh, actually, hold on. We got here is um, Marionette Spider. Or oh, it's a Mary a Marionette Spider. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That just slipped out of my mind. I came in and like uh, said it correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up some uh, some bones on the ground. So what are we getting here? So those are massive monster bones we're picking up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick something up. So that's something that I had to do to increase up our attacks. So it seems like the the head is uh, heading down. Hold on, so it's heading south. Okay, now let's go south. So we don't want all the dango boots to the wall, so we want to go after it. So uh, let's hope it doesn't get away this time. So with the Fiorin and uh, Luchika as our side, 
Uh, we're gonna take out this monstrosity. No matter the cost. So, I'm gonna just go and take it out from behind. And now he's gonna do his, uh, screech. Okay, so my battery is on low percentage. So, you know what? I'll go ahead and charge my, uh, battery right after this episode. I mean, we're gonna just see this up uh, while we still can. So, don't worry about the, um, the, the low battery of my, um, controller. Well, I've been, uh, playing, um, a lot of split tunes lately. Because when I was, um... While I was held on my controller too much, I was uh, playing Split Team 2 and uh, trying to get good at it. But uh, let's not talk about Split Team 2 right now. Let's just uh, go ahead and and steady focus on this monstrosity. So you know what? We're going to try this um, Marionette Spider. So we go ahead and tangle it. Alright, so what else can we do? Okay, come on. Get closer. You're my best pal. No, I'm gonna go for charge. Okay, so we're trying to look for an opening weak spot somewhere. Look at that is what we're trying to look for. So this one seems pretty powerful. So we just gotta like uh, keep our distance straight. So I, like I keep on forgetting how to go and cancel my stamina, just so that I'm using the dash attack. But uh, suddenly it just I uh, kind of like slipped from my mind. Okay, so he can go ahead and thunder us. So that's okay. Because um, I already uh, I already got the defense. So I won't be taking that much damage anytime soon. Are you kidding me right now? Please stop knocking me out. Okay, so he's trying to get away now. Well, not today's not. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's not stopping me any anytime soon. So it tried to get a, it, it tried to think it can get away, but not, but not going away forever. Okay, so you know what, we're gonna try this, the, uh, the shield attack. But suddenly the, the shield attack won't do any good. Look, I only got two Mega Potion on me, so... That's something I don't have yet, so hold on. But I don't know it, where it's gonna be going next, so I just want it to fall from my Pitfall Trap right now. So, would it ever fall, would it ever give you the right to fall from my Pitfall Trap? Let's see. Okay, well, he didn't fall for it. Well, that's gonna be a waste of pitfall traps. I mean, there's no stop in the Hezu. So, you know what? We're gonna have to destroy the pitfall trap there. So, the Hezu is not coming back. So, it's going to another location. So, we can take some healing if we have to. And you know what? We only got two flat bombs. Okay, so I see because the the, the, um, the, monst the monstrosity is not gonna be affected against that shot trap because it's on thunder. So no, we'll just use barrel bombs for now. All uh, right, now let's just uh, go back to uh, Madarasu and get back to picking up more stuff. So actually, I did see uh, playing more of the Adamant Life one, which I did saw already. Now let's just go ahead and continue on top, and I'll also. I really think we could get another wyvern right because every time that we pick up a, a ruby wire bug, so somehow we can just go ahead and um, have the, um, the the beast go and increase up amount to the, the steady its attack on the on the monster just so that it's attacking it to deal more damage. Because uh, somehow it's, it's something like it had to do for increasing up our bonus damage a little bit more, but um, I'm not 100% sure what exactly it can do in my in my persuasion, I mean, it it, it won't it won't have a no kick out of it uh, while you're you're still holding on to the uh, to the ruby wild bug just to increase up your the amount to the steady focus on attacking the monster directly at it. So hold on. Now all I'm seeing here is uh, more of these adamant wild bugs, uh, not adamant wild bugs, um, adamant life forms. That's what that's what I'm saying. So let's uh let's go ahead and pick up what is 
what's on the ground. So that one is uh, a fun to beat. I'll be I'll be collecting that one. And let's see here. So that one is the art hit uh, Frost Kong. Okay, and uh, what's down here? Oh, okay. Hold on a minute. So now down there, that's something we need to grab. So uh, what is this? Okay, so that gold give us twenty points. Okay, so we'll be needing that. So there are green adamant life forms. I mean, there's uh, like a whole kind. I mean, they're, they show the true color, but we just uh, gotta keep on doing a bit more expedition around here, but just uh, finding more stuff. Okay, so that give me one flat bomb. I'll be taking it. And this go give me more by free. Okay, so it seems like to me because there are no adamant life forms activity around here. So you know what? Um, hold on. No, I, I think I need to go ride on you again. And you know what? I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'll be t picking up more health. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and find a wyvern, a uh, not a wyvern, uh, a monster to sniff up on. Okay, so uh, we got here is a green one coming back to us. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and eat, eat up something. So I got ten rations on me. I mean, that's something I can do to increase up a little bit of my stamina. So uh, where do we put that? Oh yeah, right next to um to the poison toad. Okay, so now it's heading down. Hold on, what what's going on here? So this this keep getting interesting. So I think if we uh, follow the uh, the great baggy, so the great baggy is going after the uh, the hazard. So we can't miss our chance. So he's gonna start attacking the hazard. I mean, who knows? Let's find out. Actually, I'm gonna get off from that. So we'll go use the great wild bug. Okay, so now let's go back and ride. Okay, so now I can see where the great wire ba the great bag is going. Okay, so we pick up here is something that's called pill extract. Okay, well hold on. So this is gold wire bug. So gold wire bug temporarily grant the other following effect: increase the monster and material drop from wipe and riding attacks. Easier to initiate wipe and riding. Faster wire bug gauge discovery. Note the ruby wire bug that could not be used at the same time. Got you. Okay, so you, you just you don't actually use the ruby wire buzz at the same time. I mean that don't actually count in this game. So somehow you only just uh, use it when you're uh, collecting more material that he, it dropped on the ground. Makes sense to me. So uh, let's go and keep on heading down straight to the south. Keep on picking up more demet life form, and keep on moving downward and just take a look at the area. So you know what? Uh, I'll be grabbing one of his uh, wire bugs. Just for me, and of course that we can start by climbing on these vines if we wanted to, and pick up some one of these uh, butterflies. I mean, that's something that we can do to increase up more experience for some sort. But the wait a minute, so the great baggy is not going after the Yazu. Hold on. So where's why is it going inside there? Okay, so we have to go after it. So uh, let's um, let's hit it up. Oh wait, wait a minute. Where is it going? Where did it go? It didn't. It didn't go inside. Oh, it's sleeping. Okay, I probably went inside. For <laughs> I mean, I I don't see where where whatsoever that creature went. Okay, come on, stank it up. Can you smell it? Wake up, you lazy bone. I want you to smell this thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's run. Don't attack me. Um, Amaterasu, we gotta go. We gotta go. Come on. Now it's time to retreat. Okay, now where we go? So, is it coming to follow us? Okay, so it's following us. All right. Now I think we were supposed to go and and keep on going around. Uh, okay, I don't see where the Hazu is. Uh, is going. I mean, it just kept on moving by itself. 
Okay, so this great bag is not going anywhere. So it's just gonna just focus on the sniff. This the sniff of smell. Just the smell prey. And now these two are getting ready to attack. So let's see how this battle goes. This may get interesting. Come on. We need another wyvern ride. Okay, you know what? Fine. So we're right on the great baggy. Alright, so let's see how this is gonna go. So we we'll go ahead and do the, the strong attack. So that go ahead and increase up more. Okay, so as you can see, cause um somehow the on the gold wire bug can actually drop plenty more materials on the ground. So it can just only like so it just drop only one. Once at a time. So let's go ahead and finish off with the Mount Punisher for the finishing blow. Alright. So uh, it's, it's not going to deal that much damage. So you know what? We'll, we'll worry about picking up the materials later. Right after we we fight this beast. Hold on a minute. Hold on. So I want to go do this. Okay, so uh, he's, so I was supposed to go and attack his uh, his neck. Okay, so we did time it on that block though. So the more that he starts by swinging his head around, then somehow we just go ahead and time it with the block of our with our shield. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and use the poison toad. Oh wait a minute. So it's, it seems like somebody uh, put up a pitfall trap there. I don't know who did it, but um, it it was quite genius. And you know what? So the poison toad will go exactly just right about there. Okay, will you stop mess me up? Stop mess me up, I said. Gosh, you, you don't listen. Pick on somebody your own size. Stop running from me. You know I got low HP. Okay, so it doesn't want to fall for the pitfall trap. This monster can be really smart. Okay, thank you for the healing. I really appreciate it. So we're not gonna go waste a mega potion right now. So you know what? So we'll just go ahead and put a, a stun bomb there. Well, it, it, it doesn't take the attack, and some suddenly we could just go ahead and keep it just right about there. So that going to hurt 111. All right, well let's keep at it. I don't know where it's going next. So it's just flying away, and I don't know where it's going. Yet, so I'm, I'm gonna just use barrel bomb for this. Okay, so let's go back to go back to wyvern riding, and let's go chase right after it. So it just went around in a circle. So I don't know which wind is gonna be heading. Well, it's so he it felt kind of tired. I mean, he just uh, wanted to to get strong and get weaker. I mean, who knows? I mean, let's go see if he's ever going to calm down with that. I mean, we just gotta keep going with it. Now I'm being stunned. Okay, Madarasu, thank you for snap me out. You can just not knock me out, which is cool. Okay, hold on a minute. So I mean, I need to place a, a barrel bomb there. Okay, so now it just go ahead and shot me. Okay, so we took one healing. Okay, so I can't even figure out any of his movement because you just go ahead and attack a lot faster. What in the world? I was way too slow with this weapon. I'm trying to step up. Okay, so he may seem kind of tricky though, but we, we still gotta keep fighting. So we gotta think smart right outside the box and figure out all of his movements. So where the heck is it going now? Oh, wait a minute, so he's gonna fight that thing? Hold on, let's cancel. Let's cancel, hurry. Okay, hold on, so what is it doing? So we need to get another wyvern right on this Hudgy. Oh, okay, hold on, so, so it seems like a, 
Luchika got the wipe and rise now. Okay, well, it's uh, better that w it's better than playing with the online people that way. I mean, you just play with the uh, NPCs, and suddenly they just help you take out monsters a lot quicker. All right, well, don't worry about the low battery. I'll charge my controller later, right after this episode. Okay, so um, so it's taking weak damage. So now he's gonna do a squeeze, and then we we had to like what? So do we? So we had to keep blocking. Of course we do. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep healing. Well, I'm already in the monster target. I can't even like move any. I can't move faster enough. So if someone can heal me, that'll be. Pretty nice. How is he this fast? Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Okay, let's go do this. So I need to go for the head. I mean, how much percent of his HP did it have left? Okay, this isn't good. I got low HP, so somebody do something. So I got no first aid med left, so I can still keep using Mega Potions. Yeah, because see, like, I forgot, because I did not, like, realize, because, um, if I have ever equipped, uh, all of my, all of my special, special items, I mean, somehow I just kept on getting away so quickly. So you know what? I mean, here's how we do it. Alright, I think I got it with the uh, upper strike of my uh, or super coming too. And uh, gang, would you stop telling me my battery is low? Come on now, could you put that away please? Thank you. Well, eventually, yeah, that was kind of awkward actually because the game is telling me to charge my uh, my controller. But no, not right now because uh, I'm in the middle of the uh, game playing because I really don't have time for. So um, it's a scene like that. Uh, I just want to go into a fast split where we, uh, where we go ahead and take out the Hazu because... Fighting the Anahazu takes a lot, a lot of pressure and a lot of hard effort when you are complete in a uh, master mode. But uh, that's uh, how far I can get to by um, by fighting that uh, monstrosity. So um, I'm picking up here is um, a, a whole tons of these Anahazu uh, materials on the ground because um, they're like um, they're getting kind of harder because um, somehow you just gotta keep on finding the um, the right for material that best fits for you. I mean, we wanna. I, I need to like uh, see if there's another like Zin Ogre in, a, in another Master Hunter rank mode or whatever I'm saying. But um, here we are. So now the battle is finally over. Alright, and you can just, just uh, listen to a uh, Fioran. Because uh, that is how we go and uh, finish our, our mission. Because uh, we just uh, accomplished our goal to defeat Huzu. And now, here we have it. So we got all the material we can spare. We can take all we need. And just take a look at what we got so far. We're on Hunter rank 52, so we're just catching up the speed. So uh, let's see how far we get to uh, to accomplish, just just so that we can to uh, reach any uh, higher effort to other uh, to the Hunter Hunt rank, uh, Hunter rank uh, 100. I mean, okay. So we have a long way to uh, to rank up because uh, that's something we can manage. So we'll we'll go ahead and get right after to um to. To the master two star for the key quest later. Uh, right now, that's uh, that's something that we already learned. So we already learned about the support survey that's already checked off. And since um, I, I think on in the next video, I mean, we might as well go back to uh, the follower collab quest and do the one that's called follower quest. So let's just see what we got. So we can fight here is the Raffian and the uh, the Bai Shatton. Okay, so that's something we can uh, gain more experience of a, of a reward. But uh, we'll go ahead and do that on the, um, the next one later. So right now we'll go ahead and pick this up later. But on uh, taking on as uh, many a month to just to experience up a lot of reward, but just to increase up more money and uh, getting the more of the material that we can, um, but we can fully experience on. But uh, we'll see too on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you will be particular and stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and uh, watching this episode. So if you're liking the series, you want to see more, uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to my channel, please do ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up there notified to when my news and awesome videos up the way. So just make sure you guys are staying tuned in. And by all means, all the easy one of the description are filled down below. So if you want to help support the series, you can do so 
review on step by step. It's just to help get you on started on support my channel and fight the series. So that's gonna be all it for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. We will pick it up more in the next one. So take care you guys, I hope to talk to you on the next video.